After all that has befallen me, it is hard to revisit the spirit of my youth. But I shall set it all down now as it was, as a lesson to myself. When I was just 18, my aunt and uncle brought me to London for the season, by the end of which it was my aunt's intention to have me settled and well provided for. But I was young and full of romantic notions. Childhood acquaintances who had teased a gawky 12-year-old and shunned her attempts to join in their sport had now grown and changed. Much to their surprise, so had I. Please remember to receive every attention coldly and dispassionately till you have ascertained and duly considered its worth. Yes, Aunt. I fear, my dear, you have rather too much beauty for a young girl. I hope you may never have cause to regret it. Why should you fear it, Aunt? Beauty invariably attracts the very worst kind of men and could lead to a great deal of trouble. Have you ever been troubled in that way, Aunt? Believe me, Helen, matrimony is a serious thing. May I have the honor? Mr. Huntingdon. Rescues me. Of course, my dear. I thought you needed rescuing. How chivalrous. My motives were entirely selfish, I assure you. Who wouldn't choose to dance with the most beautiful woman in the room? Your old beau is still making picky eyes at you. Mr. Ballroom. How appropriate. Are you always so uncivil, Mr. Huntingdon? Oh, you favor him. I misunderstood. Let me return you to him directly. I see you are quite as wicked as they say you are. <laughs> it's true. But a little daily talk with you, I'm sure, would make me quite a saint. 